Good morning, sunrise, and time to charge. This is the other side. If you don't have destination charging at your hotel, you've got to make sure that you have DC fast charging nearby. Luckily, close to this one in Milton, Ontario, we have one of the only Petro Canada ultra fast charger stations that they've installed. It's free for the moment, kind of like the uh, ones on the Mass Pike, I guess. Kind of a test station to see how they operate, how they work, what kind of usage they get. Looks like they get regular usage, so I'm going a little bit earlier here, 7 a.m. almost. So let's get on the road, just down the road here from the hotel, and see uh, how these new stations work. charge port which is down here we start on what I think was 13% battery state of charge um, 28 miles so clearly you're not going to go very far on that um, yeah starting at 705 good temperature 70 degrees not too hot 71 degrees Fahrenheit let's take a look Complimentary for a limited time, 200 kilowatts, again, Chedimo only 50 kilowatts, don't know if that is good enough anymore. Okay, so my problem is, again, it's a pretty stiff cable, got the actuator, That just required me to hold it in place with that same problem with the um, the handle and the plug needing to be held and lifted up a little bit but starting at 12 percent 52 kilowatts for now could just be the early startup rate well, that's pretty good let's see Okay, that's an incredibly healthy startup rate for 13% or 12-13% state of charge. That deeply discharged will usually start up a bit slow, so that's really promising. This one also has nice clear display, big digital, well, reasonable size digital touchscreen. Can't quite touch the Recargo ones that uh, we see on the west coast of the US, but. That's uh, a good, good start, and certainly even better because it's free for the moment. Um, this is the only problem we've found so far, not problem really, just, um, you know, the, the only downside, if anything, of the uh, circuit electric, electric circuit chargers was that they were 50 kilowatts all of them, even at the four stall super stations, you're still on uh, 50 kilowatts. So it was 125 amps, which was great. That was a little bit quicker, but you're only ever gonna get 43 
kilowatts out of those from what I've seen, whereas this one obviously has started right off from this 52 kilowatt rate and at some point we should push up to 55 kilowatts. But I'm gonna put it on time lapse so we get 15% to 80%. We'll see how it looks. Just breaking up the time lapse here to mark that it tapered early by the looks of it. It's not quite 50% yet on the screen there. I don't know if that's visible, but it's still at 49%, about to hit 50. And uh, we've tapered down to 37 kilowatts already. Have to review that, what happened, because I was working here whilst it uh, occurred. But I'll uh, put it back on time lapse and see what kind of rate we get through to 80%. Okay, just hit 80%. Battery has moved from time to 80% to finalizing. Battery will fully charge, stop any time. It started off really quick. You had the uh, 53 kilowatts right up there straight away. And then it tapered before the 55%, um, usual 55% marker, as we saw. And um, compare it to the regular taper points of 55%, 67%. Um, I'm going to charge closer to 90% on this session, partly because it's free, but also because we have to do the onward journey through the other side of uh, Western Ontario, through Detroit and down to Cleveland, Ohio today. So only really want to get one charge session in there if we can. We'll have to see what they do with pricing on Petro Canada once they get these up and running. But uh, there are a few places where these would have been nice. Um, the cir electric circuit stations were really good very reliable but uh, as i say only 50 kilowatts albeit 125 amp 50 kilowatt stations so getting these in place as well will be a nice extra option for people who are wanting to fast fast charge so you've got a level two charger here that seems to have been the case at most canadian charging network stops i like that it's a uh, it's a one hour max here which is a bit low but Still appreciated. We've got the two fast chargers, which is us. So again, Chadabo, only 50 kilowatts, up to 200 kilowatts. That's going to take care of everything up to about the Audi e-tron. Really low power now on 14, 15 kilowatts. But as I say, if it's not costing you anything. What's the harm in staying a bit? Second station, same deal. Oh no, here's a hundred kilowatt Chadamo, so that'll take care of the new leaf and anything that can go above that. And the charge is one at a time, so no power sharing yet. It's the car wash as a backup. I've just noticed that these are one hour as well, so I'm probably going to unplug in a minute. I don't want to take the mickey too much. Yeah, so I've been over an hour. I will use the car wash as a thank you, I guess. <laughs> don't know how much it costs, but certainly cheaper than uh, full charge to 90%. And we'll get on the road. Okay, let's stop it. Five point five kilowatt hours, zero dollars. Can't complain. I'll use the car wash. 
Thank you. For-